Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up a microphone in Windows 10. We'll cover how to connect the microphone, any additional things you might need to set it up properly, and we'll also look at some of the settings we can change within Windows. If your microphone doesn't work as it should once it's been set up, then don't worry as we'll cover some potential fixes, and I also have a separate video that should help if it doesn't work, but we'll get to that later. Your microphone will likely be either connected via a USB cable or a 3.5mm cable. The only thing to mention at this stage is if your mic uses USB, then ensure it is being connected to the correct USB port. Newer USB mics should work on all ports, but older ones may only work on USB 2, so try a few ports on the front and back of your PC until it works properly. If you're using a 3.5mm cable to connect it, then ensure you are connecting it to the microphone slot and not the headphone slot. Some microphones may also need an external power supply, so research your specific mic to see if this is the case. Now that we have connected the microphone, we'll now check that Windows is detecting it. You can also set it as your default mic if you wish. To check that Windows is detecting it, first right click on the sound icon in the taskbar, and then select open sound settings. In the sound settings, click on the blue sound control panel link, which is on the right side of the screen. This will open the sound control panel in a new window. Click on the recording tab, which should be the second option to view all the microphones on your PC. If you don't see your microphone on this list, right click and select show disconnected and show disabled devices. If you now see it, you may need to right click on it and select enable. If your microphone still isn't detected or is not working properly, then click the card on screen now to go to another video of mine that has many possible solutions. This video will also be in the description if you run into any more problems during the setup. You can select your microphone and choose set default at the bottom to make your microphone the default mic on your PC. The next part of the setup we'll cover is to check that we have the latest device drivers. Depending on your microphone, there might be drivers to install from the manufacturer's website. You should however be told where to get these from, on or in the box. Check the website anyway just in case. We can also get Windows to automatically search and install the latest drivers, and to do this we first need to go to the Device Manager. You can get to the Device Manager by searching for it. In the Device Manager, find the section that's called Audio Inputs and Outputs, it should be at the top. Click on the arrow to expand it and look for your microphone. Double click on your mic, and then go to the Driver tab. Now click Update Driver, and then choose the automatic option. Allow Windows to search and install any driver updates if there are any. Also, depending on your microphone, there may be some software that you can download from the manufacturer's website that will allow you to change some of the settings. There are some settings that we can change in Windows to customize the microphone, so we'll move on to those now. We need to go back to the sound control panel first, and to do that you need to right click on the sound icon in the taskbar then go to Open Sound Settings. Click on the blue Sound Control Panel link on the right side of the screen to open the new window. Again, go to the Recording tab, but this time double click on your microphone. In the Listen tab, you can choose to listen to the sound picked up by your microphone, but most of you will probably want to leave this off. There are also some settings relating to battery power in here. In the Levels tab, you can change the sensitivity of the microphone on the top slider, you might want to play around with this to find the correct level. Also, depending on your microphone and its connection type, there may be a boost option too in here. If you don't see it, but you feel your microphone is too quiet, then click the card now to watch a video of mine that will show you how to boost your mic, even if you don't have the option. You will need to watch the second part of that video for the correct method. I'll also leave a link to it in the description too. Finally, the Advanced tab has a few more options to change, such as being able to change the quality of the mic. There may also be other tabs, but this will depend on the mic you have. You can also set up speech recognition by searching Microphone Setup in the search bar. And that's how to set up a new microphone in Windows 10. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will try and reply as soon as I can. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.